Excuse me. I'm fantastic. Look, you left greasy little fingerprints all over these. Miss, it's clear you're unable to read, so I'll ask that you look and don't touch. Also, it's obvious you must be lost. The dollar store is a couple of blocks down the street. So, if you'd be so kind to make sure to close the door as you exit. Uh, no, no, I work here. <laughs> you must be confused. This isn't Tasty Burger. That's right beside the dollar store. You know, your original destination. And from the looks of it, you're quite familiar with that particular place. I work here. Oh, honey. You must have accidentally been called. I'll just check with Miss Grockmeyer and then you can be on your way. Excuse me, Jackie. The uh, bumpkin over there says she works here. <laughs> Should I ask her to leave or get security to escort her out? No, it's Beth, she works here. Wait, hold on a second. Is it April Fools? Are you not seeing this person? A Sasquatch is more put together than that country hick. Yeah, but thing is, we really needed an emergency employee for the high season after Brenda left us to go marry Prince Charming. And she was the top salesperson over at the two for one shoes at Elkdale. Small market, but she pulled really impressive numbers. And if she does that here, my yearly bonus is set. Oh, right, I see, of course. I just had a question about this. I know I'm new and all, but am I eligible for this? <laughs> you at head office? That's priceless. Doing what exactly? Spit shining people's shoes? <laughs> You're eligible, yes. Just have to bring in the most sales by the end of the month. You ladies up for a little friendly competition? Listen up, Becky. It's Ben. Becky, Beth, Redneck Ruby, whatever. I'll make this clear. You're a hillbilly from the sticks. You don't belong here. So may I suggest you learn your station in life and stick to it. Clear enough? I'm really qualified. That's why I was hired. You're a pity hire. That's it. <laughs> Don't be surprised if they let you go when they find a more appropriate looking saleswoman and not some bargain bin poster girl. I know what I'm seeing. If someone took an Armagh scarf, used it as a dish rag, you get all this. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just see who makes the most sales. <laughs> no, 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 no. <gasps> not the Drukatans. You can't just be daydreaming around here for this reason. <sighs> Dakota, take care of the customers, please. And you, put the shoes back and come see me. <sighs> Hello there. And how are we today? You corn pone cow. You will not steal my customer. I bought these shoes yesterday from your colleague. She said these would be perfect. Worst mistake of my life. My feet are in perpetual agony. I am so sorry to hear that. Those are the last shoes to wear for comfort. Really? Not according to your colleague. She said they would be perfect. So yes, I am returning them. I, I understand completely. And you know what? I think if you just follow me, I can help you out. I'll take it from here, Bonnie. Oh, no, I've got it. I know what you're up to, you down-home dits. She's mine. Back off. Now, Gladys. Stunning pearls, BTW. How can I help you? Brittany, the displays at the back need some arranging. Be a dear and handle that. These shoes put my feet in agony. I'm returning them. Oh, no. Well, I can help you with that. Oh, you wore these? Yes, I do assure you they're clean. Ah, oh, dear. I'm afraid all sales are final after the shoes have been worn. Store policy. I've made numerous purchases here and I have never had a return issue. Uh, well, it's a new policy. Is that so? I need the other salesperson. Would you be a dear and call her, please? Uh, no, that's not necessary. I can assist you. No, you've done enough. Excuse me, miss. Could you assist me over here, please? Yes, absolutely. Would you like to follow me? Certainly. 
Now these are comfort personified. You obviously know what you're doing. Don't buy these. To be honest with you, there ain't nothing in here that will help with your foot problems. That's why I wear these. They're Tina's comfort pumps. And they will do wonders for your feet. I bought them two days ago at Chunky Charlie's Discount Shoes and Cheese. Great discount. And they give you a free shaker of Parmesan cheese. I beg your pardon? Really? It's, it's a great place. You should check it out. And I can always keep these here for you if you hate the Tina's. Thank you, dear. Carmina's. Oh, Jackie. Hi, how are... Oh, no. Seriously? No. Absolutely. Safety's number one. Right away. Bye. You're not going to believe this, but we have to close. What? Why? What's going on? Apparently, the wildfires are so bad that the air quality is too hazardous for workers to be exposed to it. We have to close. Carmina policy. I guess that's that. It's too bad because the way you selflessly handled Gladys was admirable. You should be proud, Bella, really. Anyway, you go enjoy the rest of your day. I'll close up. Okay, uh, well, have a great day. is going on here? Where is Beth? I wish I knew. Total no-show. Good thing, honestly. You should have heard her yesterday. She actually told Gladys Butterford to shop elsewhere. Can you believe that? That's a 6K sale down the drain. Wait, how much would you have made on that? That's it. That girl is so done. There you go. Beth, we need to talk. Follow me, please. Is everything okay? Look, Beth, you were never the intended hire. I mean, you're not exactly what we look for in a sales associate. No offense, but I gave you a real chance based on how great your resume was. But not showing up for work yesterday? I don't know what to say. Other than you really disappointed me. What do you mean? You left Dakota here alone on our busiest day of the year. And what, you just expect to waltz back in here and it's gonna be business as usual? You told Dakota to close the stores because of the wildfires. I was there when you called. What? I never called to close the store. What exactly are you trying to do here? Jackie, I swear to you. Dakota, she... Good morning, Gladys. It's so good to see you. Is Beth working today? I'd like to speak with her. Uh, no, I'm afraid she's not. She's actually been off for the past two days. Uh, she may be sick. I wanted to buy 10 pairs of shoes for my granddaughter, and I wanted Beth's help. You see, her advice saved me an evening of torture. But you said Beth is sick? Hmm. Where's your manager then? Uh, she's sick too. It must be going around. Uh, if you like, I can relay your message and you can come back tomorrow. I would like to speak to the manager today. Would you be so kind as to call her for me now? Ah, there you are. Not sick at all, I see. Did you tell Beth to close the store because of wildfires? No. <laughs> I would never do something like... I am not a liar. Come on, just look at me. I'm the epitome of class and decorum. I scream Carminas. <laughs> you scream hypocrisy, that's about it. I'm here to buy 10 pairs of shoes. Your last advice saved me an evening of torture. I would really love your help once again. Forget our earlier conversation. You have a client here that needs to be taken care of. <laughs> no, this can't be happening. This is Carmina's luxury, class, not dumpster behind a goodwill. 
<laughs> I mean, you can't have this knuckle-dragging yokel representing the store. I mean, what are we doing here? Enough. This brand is about more than luxury. It's about integrity. You never were, and you'll never be the picture of Carmina's. Well, Brenda, you can have this stinking job. Who needs it? Do you know how many people would kill to have me work at their store? So you and the equal rights, fair play, blah, blah bunch can kick rocks. Your loss. Congratulations. I wouldn't venture too far from my phone over the next few days. You'll be getting a call from head office soon. I just officially submitted your candidacy. Thanks, Jackie. That means a lot. Look, about earlier, I just wanted to apologize. I really misjudged you. I think you were born to do this. I'll just do what I think is right. I always do. It's been my guiding principle since I was a kid. I really hope you keep giving others the same chance you gave me. We can really make a difference. 